Hi, everyone. My name is Daniel Crothers. I am the co-founder at Vivi. And Vivi is a product that brings the physical world of collecting that fans know and love uh, into the digital space. And uh, it is something that we refer to as Collecting 2.0 because we really believe this, uh, this new NFT industry um, will become a huge part of um, <clears throat> the, uh, the collectible future. Um, so, uh, as I just mentioned, you know, the collectible industry is changing. Um, many, many users out there now um, already buy virtual goods and virtual assets. Uh, and this is a, an industry that is uh, expected to reach $155 billion by the end of 2025. And uh, in 2019, we were already seeing 55 to $60 billion being spent on virtual goods. So um, this whole digital collectible NFT is a, uh, you know, ready for the, for the market. So um, a little bit about what we do. Um, we sell uh, digital collectibles that are back to blockchain uh, ownership associated with NFT. Now, we provide a whole range of uh, digital collectibles to our users and uh, with, a, with a big focus on 3D models. So as you can see on screen here, we have a beautiful version of uh, Batman number 100 from DC Comics. Uh, the, the, the model is very, very high resolution. It's a limited edition. Um, it can be interactive, it can be upgraded, and most importantly, as I mentioned, it is secured with blockchain uh, with, with digital ownership. So uh, Vivi, the, the company, has been around for many years, uh, almost three years now, um, and we spent a long time uh, developing the product, making sure that it was something that fans and collectors would really resonate with. Um, myself, I'm a collector, as you can see behind me. My business partner is also a collector. So we come into this industry trying to provide uh, a, a really high quality collectible experience for users. Now, <clears throat> Vivi, the app launched in January, 2021. Um, since that time, we have had almost 300,000 users registered. Um, we have sold more than 502,000 individual digital collectibles and generated approximately 25 million uh, in revenue. Um, for the past couple of years, we have been uh, working very hard to sign up um, a number of brands around the world. Um, uh, as many of you may see, there is an Ultraman right there in the middle. We're, we are very big fans of Ultraman. Um, and so, you know, our philosophy is that we want to bring um, digital collectibles and NFTs uh, that fans already know and already love. <clears throat> and that is why we have, uh, you know, spent a lot of time um, signing up and partnering with more than 100 brands now um, who will be coming into the VV app uh, over the next uh, sort of one to two years. Um, <clears throat> to date, uh, since we launched in, um, uh, in January 2021, um, the app, VV app, has been very well received by the audience out there. Um, and right now we are ranking around uh, in, the, in the entertainment sec section of uh, the app stores, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, number four in USA, number three, Canada, number three, UK, number three, Australia, and so, and so on. So the product itself has been very, very well received. Um, by our fans. Um, and, you know, we still have a 4.5 plus star rating uh, because fans really enjoy um, the experience that we offer. Um, <clears throat> now, shortly, I'll give you a product demonstration. Um, and one of the, the key features within the, the VV product is the ability to 
put your favorite superhero, whether that's Batman or Ultraman, in augmented reality, and then you can take photos and you can take videos. And on screen uh, here, you just see just some examples of the amazing um, augmented reality photos that our fans have taken um, and, and just the huge enjoyment they get out of, out of this experience. <clears throat> and to date, um, since our launch in January, we have had more than 80,000 uh, photos, uh, AR photos like this, um, taken and shared to our uh, to, uh, onto our app. So it's a really great way for our fans to engage um, with the product, to engage with uh, with your brand, um, and it also helps um, you know get your brand promoted um, right across social, uh, and not not by us, but it's actually being promoted by fans. Um, and you know that is a, a huge opportunity and, and a very very fun experience that uh, BB offers. So <clears throat> I just want to give you a quick demonstration of the product. Um, now, really, as I mentioned, we come from a collector's background. So uh, for us, it was very important to take what already exists in the real world, what fans already know and already love and uh, bring that into a, a digital environment. Um, and the whole idea around this is we want to make wanted to make sure that we were still hitting the emotional triggers that, um, that makes collecting so much fun in the real world and make sure that is all still happening in the, in the digital space. So let me just switch over to the product. Okay. Uh, move that over there. <clears throat> so, um, in order for us to create a uh, you know a really good digital collectible experience, um, we have divided the app up into five main sections, which you can see across the bottom: store, collection, feed, and market, and then uh, the user's profile as well. Um, so, in the store, this is where we sell uh, you know your content directly to the user. Um, everything is limited edition. Um, so for example, with the Ultraman here, um, I believe there was 5,000 editions of that character, all sold out. Um, as you can see, as I scroll along here, all of our content is sold out because um, it's been very, very popular. Now, as I scroll down, um, I start to see content that the app thinks that I like based on you know, what I've purchased in the past, what I've liked, uh, what I've shared and so forth. Um, across the top here in the latest drop section is all of the most recent um, brands that we have released to the public. And I can tap on any one of these brands to view the collectible offering um, that is, is in this particular series. So this one here is um, DC Cover Girls from, from DC Comics. And we have four, four collectibles in the set, Mira, Supergirl, Catwoman, and Batgirl. Um, and I can tap on any one of these digital collectibles or NFTs to, um, uh, to view the collectible in more detail. So as you can see, I can like, I can comment, I can bookmark, I can share. Um, and then as I scroll down, I see, just see more details about this particular collectible. Like I can see how many editions are available, what the rarity is. Um, within VV, we have five levels of rarity, common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and secret rare. So this, the store is pretty straightforward. The user can essentially browse um, through all of the different brands and all of the different series that we, that we offer um, <clears throat> and then choose to buy them. Now, once a user owns a collectible, it will then appear in their collection tab. And as I scroll down here, we've got a few things happening. Across the top is all of my virtual showrooms. Um, and, I'll, and I'll come back to them in just a moment. As I scroll down further, I can see these are all of the collectibles that I own. Um, and I can choose to tap on any collectible to, to view that 3D model that I've purchased. So right now it's loading up the actual 3D model. Um, this one is uh, called Batman Who Laughs. And as you can see, the model is very high detail. Um, I can zoom in, you know, get right up close from any angle. 
Um, I can choose to take a photo or a video at any time I want. And this, this is how users can share um, uh, across social. And then also um, I can tap the AR button And then I can drop the collectible in the real world. And again, I can scale it right up. You know, I can move around it. I can rotate or move it around. And again, I can take a photo or video at any time to share um, across, across social channels. Um, so with the collectible themselves, you can do a lot of different things. So as you can see in the same way that I would interact with the collectible in the real world, um, I can drop our, our digital collectibles or our NFTs uh, in the real world, and then fans can engage and interact with them in the same way that they would with uh, you know, any kind of physical collectible that they might purchase. Now, one of the other things that is really important to collectors is the ability to set up and to showcase their collectibles that they own. Um, you know, every collector I know, like me, has their, has their collectibles set up in their house <clears throat> and they love to show them off. And that's a very big part and very important part of collecting. So these virtual showrooms, um, which all our users have access to, um, allow us and our users to, to purchase the collectibles and then set them up in whatever they want. So for example, um, I can go over here and I can fully customize the showroom. So I can tap on any one of these collectibles and I can move them around. Um, you know, I could scale it up or down. Um, I can rotate it to really make this experience, uh, you know, very customized to myself. Um, over here, we have uh, the DeLorean from the uh, Back to the Future. Um, and uh, I can do things like open the doors, move it around, and so forth. So the, the idea of the showrooms is really to allow users to have that same experience that they would in the real world. And we have our fans spend hours and hours each week in their showrooms, setting them up, decorating them. Now, the third part of the uh, app here is, the, is our social feed. <clears throat> Again, Fans and collectors, you know, they love to show off. If they get that number one or they get that super rare item, they want to show that off on the feed. So as I scroll down the feed here, we can see that we've got some users that are advertising collectibles that they have in the secondary market. Um, this user has shared his showroom. So other people can go in and look at his showroom or other people can come in and look at my showroom. Um, we've got some brand advertising on the feed. <clears throat> And then as we come down a little bit further, we can start to see that there is some user-generated content. Um, here is Batgirl. Someone's taken an awesome AR photo and shared it to the feed. Um, so the, the feed is really the community hub of where, uh, you know, of where fans can interact. They can sell their items. They can share their photos. They can participate in discussion. And then the next step is the secondary market. So uh, this is obviously very important to uh, the collectible industry and it allows our users to, uh, to sell the individual collectibles that, uh, that they have purchased. Um, there are two ways that uh, a user can choose to sell. Number one is with a buy now, which means I can buy now for say $50 or I can put it on auction. So um, it, it could go for you know, whatever the highest price is. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the, with us in the store, um, it's very, very simple. Users can simply just browse through, look at uh, all the listings that users have. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of listings. We have over 40,000 listings in the secondary market right now. Um, and since January, it's generated around 15 to 20 million in, uh, in secondary market transactional revenue. And obviously as a licensor, um, you will get the opportunity to uh, participate in those secondary market um, sales by getting a, a, a small percentage um, uh, uh, and for the perpetual sale uh, of these items. So uh, yeah, that is my quick demo on, on the product. Uh, let me just jump back to the PowerPoint. 
Um, and just to finish up, I just wanted to give some quick examples um, of our most recent sales. So we did a Batman black and white, um, uh, 19,000 editions sold out in under 20 minutes. Um, similar with this Kripkins brand, 77,000 editions sold out in 20 minutes. Um, Ultraman 2D artworks sold out in 20 minutes as well. Um, so thank you very much for the time. Um, uh, I hope you enjoy the uh, NFT event and uh, look forward to perhaps hearing from you in the future. Oh, no.